Jeez. I have a lot of editing and everything to do. The Gramari's secret. I have to know more about this power of true seas. It's like she can see right into people's minds. The first time I saw her do it, it blew mine. And after you were done having your mind blown, you took her to play cards with you. Er, Gotti's resources at hand, I always say. Yet, I must have no such power. But Trucy does. Why is that? Maybe Trucy got her power from her mother, Thalza Grimari? I will not speak of that! Thalza is officially missing, correct? And I think I know why you don't want to talk about her. Ugh, because she died. <clears throat> the three of you were a team once. Not that the entire country doesn't already know this. At your peak, you were the biggest stars around. Yet there's another story behind the fame. One that not many know. Thousand lost her life during rehearsal. To you and Valentin and Grammari's bullets. It was an accident! It, it wasn't me! How can I shoot my dear Thalsa? I'm sure Val would say the same thing. Why? It's just like another murder I might mention seven years ago. Damn you! Well, I can't believe so that. Her eyes. I loved Thalsa's eyes. And to think they could read my mind, it was frightening. Yet there was a warmth in them felt like an embrace. That felt like an embrace. She is dead, and Madame Grammari has joined her. So the only one with her power is left now. Is Trucy? Mr. Zack? I do not know. We know. I don't need any power to see through that one, buddy. So there's someone else. Someone other than Trucy. Someone who inherited Thalys' power. How, how, how would I know? My chances are slim. It would take a miracle to learn the truth. Or maybe one has already occurred. There's someone with the power, and I know who. You know, the person that we've been using this power all us this time. And you know who had that power besides Trucy? Yep, Paul Justice. This this boy? His name is I forgot something weird. Can't believe you forgot, Phoenix. Your name is weird too. Who could he be? An attorney. A attorney. And I noticed it when I went to visit friends' law offices. So, what are we going to make of this? Oh, great ex-attorney. Uh, you can't show me pictures of strange boys all you like. Weird line. But you could at least say something like, I'm this boy, I could use a little laugh. Perhaps you would and laugh if you knew the facts. This might not be 100% proof, but it's just close. There's a link between this boy and Thalassa. Actually, it's more of a ring. Alright. Perhaps this will refresh your memory. I just so happen to have evidence showing this missing link. It's not really a ring, but, you know. Look at Thalys' portrait. What do you see down there? Actually, I know something. Your marriage to Thalysa was her second. How did you know this? Uh, cause the Brussels was told us in the future. Uh, her first husband. He died a year after they were wed, yes? He was a performer. They met when he joined us Grammaris as a guest in our show. Hmm. After Thalysa wed him, she left the troupe for a while. And you say she had a child then? I have a photograph of her here. Like, I couldn't help but notice what she was wearing when I first saw this. Those bracelets stand out. They're a Grammari family heirloom. This boy. Wears a bracelet just like the one in, this in the picture. What? So, that's why. Why what, Mr. Zack? I took this photograph of Thalsa before she left us. When she returned, she wore only one bracelet. I bet I know where that other one went. She gave it to this boy. Her son. Wow, that is some craziness right there. This strange power. I myself do not know from where it comes. Yes, the fact is that it is passed down the Grimari line. It runs in their veins. What is it? I asked her, Thalsa, once. This is what she told me. Her power responds to tension in others. Tension? If she were, were to face a person that became tense even slightly, then she would know, no matter how hard they try to hide it from her. 
so she could see it? Not quite. This is the strangest part of it all. She wouldn't realize that she was subconsciously detecting this tension without the use of a particular object, or in her case, objects. Objects? Wait, were they something she wore? Yes, her bracelets. I admit the first time I saw one of those, I felt there was more to it than just fashion. But what kind of power could a bracelet have? I have made a decision. I will tell you all I know. Consider it a gift before you die. True seen Apollo. Ugh, gosh. Well, I hardly need you to tell me at this point, but those two are brother and sister, yes. Half brother and sister. Yeah, I bet a lot of people, after learning that, be like, darn it, you can't put them a Yeah, you can't see them as a couple anymore. Unless you're not, or unless you're into, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? I forgot. Ah, that word just slipped in mind. Alright, uh, and the uh, the two has this power of theirs. So she has an older brother. I wonder what will come of that. And after Phoenix knows, he he hired Paul to get Kristoff uh, convicted. Jeez, wow. And made Apollo work for them and everything to get him and Trucy acquainted. <sighs> Crazy things happen. Mr. Wright, tonight, after our game is done, I will return to a life of hiding. I would not see her live her life without knowing. I understand. I'll tell the two of them that when the time has right. I am in your debt, once again. No kidding. What I want to know is how all this got to be so messed up. Like, seriously. Oh, gosh. The bracelets. Those bracelets are made of a special alloy. It is said to be expanding strength very slightly in response to body warmth. So they're temperature sensitive or something? Yes. This is how they can shrink to the exact size of the rarest wrist. Mm, and this has something to do with the power? What have I told you? The Gramari power reacts to tension in others. When a Gramari senses tension, they too become tense. And this tension translates into minute contractions of the muscles. So minute they cannot sense it on their own. Their muscles? Oh, so that's what the bracelets are for. In the bracelet on, one can sense these contractions. Because the bracelet is always a perfect fit. So when the person they're watching gets tense, the bracelet feels tighter on their wrist. Precisely. Interesting. But that alone doesn't really count as mind reading. I believe I understand how the process works from there. It's a simple question of eyesight. Eyesight? I guess that sounds simple enough. Have you ever heard of the kinetic vision? Something about the ability to see moving objects with full clarity, right? I've heard of it before. They say adult athletes can see a moving ball like it will stop if they focus. Oh, but it's not confined to performance alone. It all relies on the ability to focus. When we focus, we can see many things. The faintest switch, the faintest switch of the face and the meaning that, that lies behind it. Therein lies one of the secrets of magic. One must know the mind of a crowd before one may distract it. So, basically what you're saying is, the grandmars can see really well. For them, seeing is more than believing, it is knowing. Their power relies on eyesight combined with exceptional fo focus. Things are starting to come, come into focus for me too. Of course, it is difficult to maintain such levels of focus on any length, for any length of, length of time. But what if someone could tell you where to focus? Or something? Precisely. But wait, Tracy doesn't have any bracelets. You're talking about poker, yes? The time I went to focus is so elementary she probably does it without thinking. Wow. I doubt Tracy herself has realized this. That is all I know of. Thanks, Gamari. Thank you, Mr. Zack. If this boy's bracelet is the real thing, then he will use it before long. And why only after Phoenix told him to? Thereby waking his power. I'll keep that in mind. Well, shall we play a game? Ah, I've said so much. Let me say one more thing. I will tell you that night. That night? The night of my mentor, Manny Frigamari, passed from this world to the next. <gasps> now you're telling us this? There were two pistols and two letters sent. This was Magnifi's test. A test? In his last years, Magnifi Gamari worked us to the bone. No, to the pain. But that night I could not shoot him. So I shot the clowns for it instead. This, it seems, was the correct answer. 
take this. I give my art to you, Zack. What? It is thanks for playing along my show. You shot well tonight, Zack. Though I would not have minded dying by your hand. If he shot something, wouldn't someone hear that he got shot and comes in the room? How could I shoot you? You're my mentor! Bah! I thought you might say that. If I went home without shooting anything, what would you have done then? Then, of course, I would have given Val his chance. And if I had shot you in the forehead instead, then it would be over. If you or Val were to shoot me in the head, then I too to the darkness. Then I to the darkness would go, and my art with me. A fitting end, don't you think? Ah, uh, that is just, 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 just dramatic. Yet this ending, too, gives me no cause for regret. I thank you, Zack. And I am sorry. I have done much that was wrong in my day. You know, we could have known this seven years earlier. It seems to me that Manifi wanted you to be a successor all along. That's why this time he gave you was gave, the time he gave you was earlier than Valance. Perhaps, but it is not something we will ever know for sure now. I wonder what is Valance up to these days? Waiting for you to die. Yeah, that's, that's a nice way to put it. If seven years pass like this, the performance rights go to him. Ah, and now here I am, and his stream is ended. It's worse than that, actually. Public opinion's a fickle thing, you know? What? You don't mean to tell me they put the blame on for our mentor's death on him? The trial ended when you vanished, Mr. Zack. There were even rumors that Val had helped you pull it off. That's madness! Well, it seems that before I can once again disappear from this world, I have one more act to perform. Hmm? Isn't it odd a sort of uh, my life should prove so complicated? Even though I'm dead? I do wonder how all this works. You know, like, this whole game. It doesn't have to make sense, but I don't know how Phoenix figure all this out himself. But, because he can't really go back and forth <laughs> from the present to the past and stuff. That night, Zachary was killed. He died as Shady Smith, a mysterious traveler with a secret past. But he left one thing behind him before he parted. This. To whom it may concern. Seven years past, Isaac Gramari murdered my mentor, Magic Gramari. I apologize for the trouble caused by my sudden departure from court, and hereby did what confess to my crime, Zach Gramari. His confession to use as I see a soft fit. Of course, he killed no one. This was his way of tying up loose ends with his old partner, Valen Gramari. <sighs> Looks like we're done at the Borscht Bowl Club. Two more places to go. Present day Sunshine Coliseum. Well, this is a blast from the distant past. Long time no see, Mr. Valent. Seven years, has it been? Frankly, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Actually, I came because there's something I want to ask you. I've spoken to the press. I have nothing more to say. I've spoken to a lot of people myself and come to some conclusions. But then I realized I needed to hear it from you. In the in the present, yeah. We could examine stuff as Phoenix, you know. Like the banner. That sure is a big sign. Yes, it's a favorite to mine. I press it, isn't it? I considered using it for one of my for one wall of my house when this show's over. Wow, your house is that big? Actually, as fate would have it, I currently live in a one-room apartment. But following the wild success of my show, I intend to build a luxurious mansion. I was torn over just how big to make it, until that sign whispered this answer to me. That's really beautiful. Yeah, very weird. Too bad you're... Man in a costume, standing up balloons to the kids. It's nice to know kids still like balloons, somehow. They're a favorite of mine. Balloon seller, that is. I would have them join me on the big stage. They could hand out balloons to the children to the audience in the audience. When all the balloons get in the way of seeing your show, bravo. The possibility had not even occurred to me. Finish right entertainment consultant. At your service. Yeah, whatever. The Sunshine Coliseum, was it? I'm not sure it actually qualifies as a Coliseum, but as a great forum. Yes, it is a favorite of mine. I have always been fond of Sunshine. Speaking of which, which, have you heard what happened here recently? Oh, yeah, something about something going on during some concert? 
Exactamondo! I see no reason behind the fact that I, too, was involved in that case. Well, that's something. Did you help solve it? Ha! What do you take me for? No, I'm really observed to deepen the mystery. That's an obstruction of justice. And a magician. It's my sworn duty to create mystery whenever possible. Ah, <sighs> yeah, magicians and uh, Laura's don't mix at all. I don't think I've ever seen a hot air balloon so close. It's a favorite of mine. I have often thought of how to use it in one of my shows. Perhaps for the climax of balance, quick draw, shoot and returns. I stand on stage, I shoot, and a hot air balloon is pierced and explodes! What do you think? Thrilling, yes. A little, but I guess. But no one else inside the costume would be able to see it. Bravo. It took me four days of planning to realize that. <sighs> and plus, that's not really magic. Whatever. 